Hey friends at home, we are going to do our normal class just like we would do on Sunday mornings, our sprouts class. I've got my three helpers here and we're just going to do our normal class. So it may be crazy, but this is a great opportunity to kind of see what we do each week. So before we started the video, I had these three helpers go and watch the video. It's the video on the Parent Q app like we talked about in the previous video. So once again, it's the Parent Q app. And I just had them watch that video. It's great and it just gives them a quick introduction to what we're gonna be talking about. So we just did that and I'm just gonna kind of tell y'all what we would normally do. So for the month of March, our theme is follow the leader. So all kids know the game follow the leader. But this month, we're talking about following the leader. Who is the leader? Jesus. Jesus. Okay. So the bottom line for this month is I can follow Jesus. So when I say, who can you follow? Jesus. You Jesus. say, I can follow. I can follow Jesus. Okay. Follow. Who can you follow? I can follow, I can follow Jesus. Jesus. I can follow Jesus. I can follow Jesus. Okay. So the memory verse is right here. And this is helpful for Mama. our younger ones. We have motions. Mama. So we all do the motions with me? Mama. Okay. Come follow. and follow me, follow me, Jesus said. Jesus said. Okay, and then you do your hands follow like a Bible. Me. That comes from Matthew 4, Matthew 4 verse, 19. verse 19. 19. Okay, so friends okay. at home, we're going to do it together. Are you ready? Come and follow me, come, Jesus said. Come and follow me, Jesus said. Matthew 4, 19. Matthew 4, 19. Okay, one more time. Come and follow me, Jesus said. Come and follow me, Jesus said. Matthew 4, 19. Matthew 4, 19. Okay, so we've got our bottom line, our memory verse. Okay, now I'm just going to go quickly over... The, the lessons we've done previously just to kind of refresh our memory a little bit. So we, the week one, we talked about someone who did something very special. And the Bible talks about how he ate locusts. What are locusts? Like grasshoppers. Like grasshoppers. Okay. Okay. So his name was John the Baptist. And what did John the Baptist do? Baptized people. He baptized Baptist. people. Like he his baptized name. Baptized Jesus. He baptized Jesus. So who was he following? Jesus. Jesus. Okay. So that was week one. We talked about that. Week two, we talked about two sets of brothers. They were fishermen, and they were out in their boat fishing. And who did they see on the seashore? Jesus. Jesus, Jesus was walking. And what did Jesus say to them? Come follow me. Come, Come and, and follow, follow me. me. So did they say? Well, maybe later. What'd they say? They put down their nets and they followed Jesus. That's right. They put down their nets and they went to follow Jesus right then. Okay. So then last week we talked about Matthew. What was Matthew? A tax collector. Tax collector. So in these times, the tax collectors, not a lot of people liked them. Do y'all remember why? Because they took so money. money them. They took more money than they were supposed to. So a lot of people thought tax collectors were bad, bad people. But what did Jesus say to Matthew? Come, follow me. Follow me. So Matthew had made some bad decisions, right? But Jesus said, come follow me. He wants everybody to follow him, okay? So that brings us to our story this week. So I'm going to tell you about 12 stories. Special friends of Jesus. Okay, so Jesus had 12 friends called the, what did you say, Casey? Disciples. The disciples. Okay, so Peter, Andrew, James, John, the other James, Matthew, Philip, Bartholomew, Thomas, Judas, Thaddeus, and Simon. So we're going to post on our page. Mr. Bradley um, sung this song for us. There's a song that goes, it says all their names so that we can help learn all their names. We're going to post that on the Sprouts page. What is it? So we'll sing this song. If you're learning this at home for the first time, this is the same tune as Jesus Loves Me. We just sing it a little faster. 
Also, you have to sing both verses to learn all 12 names. Jesus called them one by one, Peter, Andrew, James, and John. Then came Philip, Thomas too, Matthew, and Bartholomew. Yes, Jesus called them. Yes, Jesus called them. Yes, Jesus called them, and they all followed him. James, the one they called the less, Simon, also Thaddeus, the twelfth apostle Judas made, Jesus was by him betrayed. Yes, Jesus called them, yes, Jesus called them, yes, Jesus called them, and they all followed him. But um, Peter and Andrew were brothers, right? So were James and John, and they were all for what they do for a living. Fishermen. Fishermen. Okay. Matthew was a tax collector. Judas was in charge of the money. Simon, the other James, right? And then Philip, Bartholomew, Thomas, and Thaddeus. So these guys did all kinds of things, like I said, right? But what was the most important thing that they did? They followed Jesus. They followed Jesus. Jesus. Okay. They were the disciples, and they followed the leader, Jesus, right? Everywhere Jesus went, they went together. And they saw Jesus do lots of very special things. They saw Jesus heal people. You see the guy on the mat? They saw Jesus heal people. And they saw Jesus feed hungry people. Y'all remember this story? You see? And they saw Jesus feed people, and they saw pe- they saw Jesus be kind to people, even people that other people didn't want to be kind to, even people that other people didn't like. They saw Jesus be kind to those people, okay? And they watched him, and they followed him. And who can we follow? Jesus. We can follow Jesus too, right? So just like Jesus' friends, the disciples, we can follow Jesus and do like he did. Who can you follow? I can follow Jesus. I can follow Jesus. I can follow Jesus. Okay, so in your packets that we're going to have sent home with you, I'm going to just go ahead and show you. So the first thing they're going to make, and for time's sake, we're not going to see her while they make it, but I'm just going to show you. They're going to make a paper chain, and I'm going to send home all the little strips, and it makes the memory verse. So it's, come and follow me, Jesus said, and then it has the, the verse at the end. So they can make a paper chain with all of those. The second activity is I'm going to send home 12 popsicle sticks for 12 disciples, and the stickers that you put on them, and then both of these things, so that you can put 12 stickers for 12 disciples, and we're going to put them in the boat. And the boat says, I can follow Jesus, right? Okay. The third thing is, this is just a little graphic where you can write your name, if you can write your name, or we can help write your name. And this is just a hang-up so that we can remember that we can follow Jesus, right? We can decorate this with stickers or stamps or colors or markers or whatever you have. So that's our activity, and then I'm going to just go ahead and send home. This is just a little color and sheet of Jesus, and um, this is the same character that's in the videos and everything, just so they can recognize that. Lastly, this was part of this week's um, lesson, too, is I Can Follow Jesus. You can put your name here. We had a stamp, uh, footprints, um, anything like that. So... I'm sending home everything. You can pick and choose what you want to do, but I hope you enjoyed our lesson, and if you have any questions or want any different ideas, you can just let me know, and we will do the same thing every week um, for as long as we're not having sprouts and services. Yes. Okay. Thank you, guys.
This isn't live, right? This no, is we're not live. live. Okay, guys, listen. I need y'all to cooperate with me, okay? So this is your best behavior ever, ever, ever. If y'all can do this, we will get a treat after this, okay? Or a slushy. Or a slushy. 